Hi everyone, today's lesson is Pythagorean Theorem. We're going to be solving for the short side today. Let's start with a quick review of Pythagorean Theorem since we've been off for a few days. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to label our triangle to figure out where our side C is, just to be sure we have the right spot. And then our leg lengths with A and B. Again, it doesn't matter which side is A and which side is B. We're going to start with our formula over here and then fill in what we know. So A is 8 squared, and then B is 15 squared. We're just going to go ahead and square those. And add them together. And then remember, this total of 289 represents the total area of C squared, and we just want C. So be sure to take the square root in your last step. And just for good measure, we're just going to add in our units of meters there, um, even though they're not indicated, uh, just so we get in the habit of doing that. Now let's have a look at what it looks like to solve for a leg. When we're solving for a leg or the short side, we're still going to start by labeling our triangle, just so we make sure. Now I always like to label the side that's missing as A, and the other side as B, but again it doesn't matter. If you recall, when we're solving for the longest side, which is C, we add our lengths, or our areas together. So it makes sense then, if we're looking for a short side, that we're going to subtract. So the formula I use here is A squared is equal to C squared minus B squared. Um, in this case, we have 45 squared minus 36 squared which if we quickly do that in our calculators, 2,025 minus 1,296 to give us 729. And remember, that's for A squared. Okay, and if we want A, we just want to take the square root, which is going to give us 27, and let's throw in our units there of meters just for good measure. All right, let's look at one more example before you get started on your own. You also have the note sheet to help you. Again, we're gonna start with labeling. So C, and remember I like the unknown side as A and B. Um, just helps keep me organized when I do it that way. So A squared is equal to C squared minus B squared. So we have 89 squared minus 80 squared which gives us 7,921, subtract 6,400, which gives us an A squared of 1521. And we want A, so we want to make sure we square root to give us 39. And let's throw in our meters there again for good measure. All right, you have some practice now. If you have any questions, um, just ask and refer to your note sheet.